hi friends welcome back to learning points so we are discussing about the full stack application series with the laravel and angular latest version so here we'll use the jwt authentication and we will use the login sign up and profile section using this angular and laravel so we already installed the laravel and we already installed the front end that is the angular and also install the jwt and inside the front end we installed the bootstrap so if you don't see this video you can check from my playlist link are provided in the description section so now the last day we have created the navigation section and we have created these links but actually these links are not working so how we can work in these things okay so we already created a components for navigation so let's create a similar component like login sign up profile and let's connect these things so just go to the terminal again and here we can see this is the back end and this is the front end so both application is running and this is the back end for laravel and i am going to create a component inside the front end so we will use these things so to create a component ng g for generate c for component and i want to create a component inside the components folder so components right so these are the folders so if you just check here the front end and inside the src inside the app we'll get the components folder so all the component will have inside this folder right so components 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 so spelling mistake and the component name is login right so the login component is created and if you check inside the components folder the login is created and in the similar way just create another component that is sign up component and let's create another that is profile okay so so the three component is created and let's add these three things inside these links so for this we need to use the router here so how we can use the routing so if you just go here and you can see there is app routing module dot ts so here we can create the routes link so first of all we need to use the sign login sign up and profile so let's import these things so write imports bracket and it will coming from dot slash so from spelling is mistake no from okay dot slash the components sorry there will be import not imports okay so right here dot slash components and inside the components i want to connect the login and just use the login component dot ts file okay and let's add these things that is login component similarly we will create component for profile and sign up so just write the from dot slash components says the sign up slash sign up component okay and just add this here so simply write sign up sign up component okay so if you write perfectly you will get suggestion so this is the specialization of visual studio code and the next things i need to add the profile so just go here and profile and profile component okay and let's use the profile component here so all components are added now let's use this component so how we can we use this so let's create a router link so simply inside this router this is the array we can create a link so simply just use this type of syntax so inside this curly bracket we can define path and we can define the component name so simply write the component so component c will be in caps i think so let's use the component name so here the component path is login and the component name 
that is login component okay so i think the c will be small okay okay no error then just copy these things for two times for sign up and profile so let's use the profile and just use profile and let's use sign up and sign up okay so these links are created so if i simply just go here and write login so it's not working because the login is not added so we need to use the login router inside our app component.html file so just go here app component.html file that is the app navbar there's a reason it's all time it's showing the app navbar so here i need to define the router outlet so whenever any router link will hit that time the router outlet will be there so simply just use the bootstrap class so simply write container c o n t a i n e r container and inside this container simply write router outlet okay so by using these things all the router component will appear inside here so now if i just refresh this you can see the login works and if i just use sign up that means sign up works so let's use this link here how we can you use this now just go to the nav component.html here so that is the navbar component.html and here all the links are there so simply we don't need to write the href for angular we need to use the router link here so router link so router link what is the router link for this that is login and just copy these things and paste for sign up and profile so just go here this is the sign up link just use this here and this is the profile so just paste this here okay now if i just go here and you can click on the profile the profile works sign up this sign up works login this login works so from where these things are coming i already told you so if i just go here login component.html you can check the login works if i just go inside the profile component.html you can see the profile works so basically when i'm clicking on these things this value are coming okay so router is set now we need to create the login process so we already installed the jwt inside our application but we have not configured into our laravel application so next video i am going to configure the jwt inside our laravel application so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day